Good Tuesday morning, everybody. I'm Jared Klein coming to you live from the 29 News Digital Desk with the Morning Rush. Bundle up before you head outside this morning. It is a cold one. Let's start this morning on the Blue Ridge Parkway. That's where fire restrictions for backcountry campsites have been lifted. However, the National Park Service says conditions are still dry despite recent rain and snow. It cautions all to be careful if you do light a fire. We also want to add that the burn ban in Orange County has also been lifted. A UVA School of Medicine graduate student is behind new research that maps out plaque that can clog arteries. Now, if successful, experts say this could help many people dealing with heart issues. When plaque builds up over time, it can slow down blood flow, and if it breaks apart, it can trigger strokes and heart attacks. Right now, the map provides insights at the cellular level. In the future, it could be used to help prevent heart attacks. Virginia winemakers say this year's dry weather has been helpful. In fact, Hark Vineyards in Albemarle County says this season is the best it's seen in years. The grapes have been harvested and moved inside. 29 News spoke with three other wineries in Central Virginia that agree the quality is up this year. And last night marked the fifth night of Hanukkah. UVA's Chabad House helped celebrate on Charlottesville's downtown mall with the lighting of a giant menorah. A crowd gathered for the lighting, joined by Charlottesville Mayor Lloyd Snook. He was chosen by the Chabad House to light the candle, which is known as the helper candle, that center candle there. Hanukkah began at sundown on Thursday, December 7th, and ends this Friday evening. All right, it is deer season. Sure they is. are out there. You got to watch out for them. <laughs> mm -hmm. um, and so, uh, let's take a look at this map. So, high risk states for drivers hitting deer. Look at Virginia. It's a, high risk. The yeah. high high risk state. No surprise. No surprise. And it's estimated that over a million deer are hit um, every year in the United States. And this is kind of a breakdown of the other animals mm -hmm. that are hit on roadways. Kind of interesting. Um, and so what happens is, so you know how we always say deer in headlights, it, mm -hmm. it's, you know, because they freeze. Mm -hmm. So deers, their eyes are adapted to low light conditions and um, allows them to see better at the dark, at, at nighttime. Um, but they are considered legally blind. And so when the eyes, their eyes are exposed to bright headlights, it causes them to fully dilate. Mm -hmm. And then they just, they lose their vision and then they just stand there. They freeze because they're trying to adapt their vision yeah. into their surroundings. So that's why they just freeze in your headlights. So hmm, I didn't know that. Yeah, I didn't either. Um, it makes sense why they walk right out in front of your car. Right out <laughs> in front of the car. It's yeah. <laughs> they're like a magnet. So something to think about. And of course, right now through December is kind of the peak time to yeah, so keep an eye out for, for hitting the years. Yes. I hit one last year. That was not fun. No, no. Okay. So this is interesting. YouTube for the second year in a row beat TikTok as the most widely used platform mm -hmm. among teens. I guess that surprises me. Yeah. yeah. I, I mean, I thought TikTok reigned supreme, Yeah. but it's YouTube. And then they also use Snapchat and Instagram. 50. I thought Instagram would be higher up there too, yeah. but, but it's not. Like we would know, but right, right. the teens are Right, what, what do they do these days, these kids these days? But, um, and it's funny, just my children, they will watch TV. They'll watch things on YouTube. Mm -hmm. they're, I, yeah. I, I would never think to go, oh, I'm going to go to YouTube. Yeah. They're on it all the time. All the time. Yeah. YouTube, TikTok. Yeah. That's the new media format. It, that... <laughs> it is. It's interesting. Yeah. So... I was just happy with like, you know, cable, like HBO. I know, right? <laughs> All right. And then I don't, have you ever done a polar bear plunge? No. Yeah. So this is just, you know, a lot of people do them on New Year's Day. I actually did one live years mm -hmm. ago on New Year's Day, but this is um, off the coast of Southampton, New York. A lot of people taking the plunge. And you won't catch me doing one. No. If you want me to donate to charity, I'll just donate. I'm not sure jumping in the water. That's I will tell it you. It looks painful. Is it, it painful? Is, oh, it was my, I was so tired. My energy was zapped for the rest of the day. Yeah. And I could barely move. Actually, a man actually pulled me to, I was in a river, yeah. pulled me to the shore because I was, and I now see how you can drown so quickly in freezing yeah, water. Yeah, freeze up. Yeah, yeah. Your muscles just stop working oh. but it's cold i did it once i don't i don't need to do it again but yeah yeah especially this morning oh no oh that'd be rough yeah that would be 
and just to warm up after, like that's the, that's the struggle. Oh yeah, yeah, I can imagine. Yeah. All right, well, let's take a look at that seven day forecast. Things are going to warm up today with a high of 50 degrees around where we should be this time of year. And then we are staying around 50 degrees up until Friday where things warm up a bit near 60 by Saturday and then another chance of rain coming on Monday. I hope you guys have a great Tuesday out there. We'll see you again on NBC 29 News at noon and we're always live on the 29 News app.